Now that is to let you know, have an idea of what moving in circle is like. In fact, God had to come at a point. In the Torah chapter 2 verse 3, he said, you have circled this mountain long enough. He said, turn northward. What means for a long time they circle. There are people who, who are moving in circles in their career. Moving in circles in their businesses. Moving in circles. <coughs> moving in circles in their ministry. The same thing of the same thing. You go into a relationship after some time. You think it was going to work out, but it didn't work out. And then your heart is broken. Your mind is broken. Your thoughts are broken. Then you heal for about nine months. You start another one. And then after a while, one and a half years, the mother of that one says, no, I'm not going to allow my child to marry you. Then you break and then your heart is broken again. Your mind is broken. Your thoughts are broken. And then you rest again for one and a half years. And then you start another one. You see that? That's going in circles. It can be academically, you can go in circles. Repeating the same professional exam three times, four times, five times, six times. I've seen people who have done some exams ten times without succeeding. Now that is a lot of activity, but very little, very little to show for it. That is the second direction in which people's life move. In other words, move in circles. Are you moving in circles? In your career, are you moving in circles? Like the children of Israel. The journey of 14 days eventually turned to 40 years. That is what happens when you move in circles. You waste your substance. You waste your youth. You waste your energy. You waste your resources. You get to a point where it is the same thing of the same thing. Same thing of the same thing. Same thing of the same thing. You do this exam. You fail. You are very unhappy. For a few weeks, you pick up the books again, you read, and then you do it again, and then you fail. And then it goes on and on and on. Is that the stage that you are in? That is the second direction which you will are moving. Is that the direction in which you are moving, ladies and gentlemen? Number three direction in which some people are moving is that some people move in what I call a wandering direction, roaming direction. They try quite a number of things. A jack of all trades, a master of none. I remember meeting one of my friends. <laughs> He me to my one of my friends in Maryland, and he gave me a, a business card. And when I saw the business card, <laughs> I asked, I asked, I said, "What kind of business will you not do in life?" Because that was the twelfth business card he was given over a period of ten years that I have known him. He has done all manners of job, but there is nothing that he's known for. One time he was selling clothes. He stopped that one. He started selling bread. Then he stopped that one. He started exporting cars. Then he stopped that one. Then he set up an IT company. Then he stopped that one. Then he started printing. Then he stopped that one. Then he started buying. He started buying clothes from Indonesia and exporting to. And I said to him, I said, please, please, please. Ten years, wandering from one business to another business. You can also wander maritally from this sister to that sister, from this brother to that brother. From people, there are people who wander in churches. They soft churches. This church for six months, that church for five months, six months, for two years, that one. Excuse me. Nothing can grow if it keeps wandering like that. The, the roots that will, the, the plant that will bring forth fruit must be planted. You shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of living water that bringeth forth its fruit in a season. So planting must precede fruit bearing. Where serious planting is not done, fruit bearing is not the kind of result that can occur. But some people are wondering. I call it roaming. Let me give you the, the way someone wonders physically. You see, that's wondering. Wondering. A man who wonders gets nowhere really. Does he get anywhere? There's no place he gets so. You know, that's what it means to wonder. And people are like that. Wondering. Wondering. I know a man who's been in the United States since 1986. And up to today, there is nothing you can point to that he has. Recently, he had to come back to Nigeria. He said, he wants to do fish farming. I said, ha, 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 ha. what will he not do? What will he not do? There was a time he was selling poopies like this. There was a time he was saying, he's not an author. There was a time he was even running a church. I even went there to preach. <laughs> While I was preaching, snakes came in. Because I was a pet shop next door. So I, did. <laughs> I said to him, I said, I don't even know what you will not do. Now, that's an example of someone who is wanting. The Bible talks about people like that. People who wonder in life. 
Proverbs 21 16. He that wandereth out of the way of understanding, he says, shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Proverbs 27 verse 8. He said, As a bird that wandered out of his nest, so is a man that wanders out of his place. The word wandering or roaming is a word that is used to describe a sheep that is lost. A sheep that is lost. It is a word that is used to describe a blind man that has no guide. That word wandering or roaming. So people are just like that. In what direction are you moving? Ah! You've done a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You have done this, you have gone there, you have this, you have that. But which one are you really doing? I know people have done all manners of businesses. At the time we were selling drums, I mean musical instruments. And later we were selling books. And then later I was selling uh, women attire. At the time I was selling wedding clothes. And I said, ah, ah, what, 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 which one are you going to be known for? She may be like that this morning. In what direction are you moving? Where you are going in life is not far. It is where you are branching that is wasting your energy. So in what direction are we moving? Some people don't move. Some people move in circles. Activity without conviction. Activity without definitiveness. There is no specific thing. The Bible talks about the value of doing one thing. Apostle Paul said in Philippians 3.13, this is one thing I do. Forgetting those which are behind. In my own ministry, I do only one thing. And that's what I do most. I don't do many things. You see, when you, when you have the conviction as to the direction which you are supposed to be moving, you will discover you will conserve energy. And you'll be able to be known for something. There will be something definitely you are known for. The psalmist said in Psalm 27 verse 4, One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after. So in what direction are you moving? I've been to churches. There is no kind of program they have not done. They have done crusade. They have done city bash. They have done bazaar. That's, and I always say, look, which one is your mandate? <laughs> which one? You can't do everything. No church can do everything. There must be certain things for which you are known. You know, there must be certain things. God did not make us a jack of all trade. That's why he gave some people apostles, some prophets. You can't pastor a church and be an apostle at the same time. Being an apostle means you travel. Pastor makes you stay. So how can you do both? It's not possible. <laughs> you know, and at times you, you see quite a number of things and you just know that people are just roaming in life. The word roam or wonder is the word that is used to describe a blind man without a guide. A blind man without a guide will roam with a stick. He will roam. He will touch this. He will roam. But you see when you have a guide, it's absolutely different. You and I have a guide. Psalm 32 verse 8 tells us we have a guide. Psalm 31 verse 2 says, for your great, 31 verse 3 says, for your great name's sake, lead me and guide me. Psalm 67 verse 2 says, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. So, in what direction are you moving with your attitude, with your career, with your ministry, with your calling? In what, di in what direction are you moving with it? In what direction are you moving with it? Are you static with it? Remember the gifts and the calling of God are without repentance. Romans 11, 29. God will never change his mind as to who he calls and who he chooses to bless. A day will not come when you can convince God to forget the call. But what are you doing about it? In what direction are you taking the call to? There was a person in the Bible named Zacchaeus. God had to send a message to, to him through Apostle Paul. Colossians 4.17. He said, say unto Zacchaeus that he take heed to the ministry he has received to make a full proof of it. Remind him. He wasn't moving in the right direction with it. Ladies and gentlemen, in what direction are you moving? Are you static with reference to your direction in life? Or are you just in going in circles, going in circles, or are you just roaming aimlessly, roaming aimlessly? You ask some people, what is the church you attend? They say, I fellowship with the body of Christ. You must have a fixed spiritual address. You know, you have a fixed natural address. That's why when people want to deal with you, they say, we need proof of address. We want to know where you are resting. And spiritually, you must have a proof of address. A proof of address. This is where you are. So, roaming around will not pay anybody good. We call them nomadic Christians. 
nomadic Christians. You know nomads, they roam. Today they are here, next time they are there. Some people don't deal with them. So you ask his brother, what church do you attend? He said, well, uh, I fellowship in many places. Ah, that's a vagabond. Don't have anything to do with that kind of person. Or a sister does not have a fixed address. Who is your pastor? Well, uh, it's that man on TV. Oh, TV is your pastor. Ah, uh, you can't be located. Anybody who is the pastor is on TV, how do you locate the person? You call the pastor on TV. The pastor will never speak to you on TV. So in what direction are you moving? Number four. Another direction where people move, which is very shocking, is that there are people who are moving backward. Are you one of those moving backward? In what direction are you moving? To move backward means to move in the opposite direction of the direction along which you should be moving. To move backward. Are there people in the Bible that move backward? Oh yes. Even Israel as a nation move backward. Isaiah 1 4. Israel as a nation. Jeremiah 7 24. Instead, and they have gone backward instead of forward. Jeremiah 15 verse 6. He said they have gone backward instead of forward. So, what direction are you moving? Are you moving backward? Are you a backslider? That is what it means to move backward. The Galatian Christians were people that move backward. They move backward. Galatians 3 3, Apostle Paul says, Oh, foolish Galatians, haven't begun in the spirit. Are you not perfected in the flesh? This is who started in the spirit. They are not going back to the flesh. Galatians 5 7. He said, You did wrong well. Who did he know? This is who are doing excellently well. Have you gone backward? There was a man in the Bible known as, known as Balaam. If you read Numbers 22, 23, 24, you hear about the prophetic ministry of Balaam. The Bible says in the book of Joshua 13, 22, and it came to pass when the people that were killed in a particular battle were looked at. He said, Balaam the soothsayer was among them. He was a prophet before he became a soothsayer. That's backward integration. If he was a soothsayer before and then he became a prophet, that is forward movement. But he was a prophet, then he became what? A soothsayer. That is backward. In what direction are you moving? Backward. Things you never will tolerate five years ago, they are not the things that you say you won't blame anybody if they do it. The kind of jobs you now accept 10 years ago, they are not the kind of job you are praying for. You are praying, oh Lord, give us this job, give us this job, give us this job. In what direction are you moving? Now I'm saying all of this to get you to a point of what I believe God has put in my heart to share with you. In what direction are you moving? Are you moving backward? Let me say this to you. Another way to move backward is not to move. When you do not move, you will soon become back of the line. You will soon be at the back of the line. Even if you are the head of the line and you are not moving as you should move, people will overtake you and you will soon be at the back of the line. The Bible said there is such a provision. Matthew 1930, Matthew 2016, and the last shall be first. Just like the first can be the last by reason of backsliding. Are you backsliding? Years ago, you will fast till 6 o'clock without having to develop quote-unquote sudden ulcer but now when a prayer fasting is declared oh that is when your ulcer shows up backward movement backward movement something you will never be may never be mentioned against your name is that is something they used to characterize you backward movement in what direction are you moving ladies and gentlemen there are people who are not moving there are those who are moving in circles. There are those who are roaming. There are those who are moved backward. But the fifth direction in which people move is to move forward. To move forward. What does it mean to move forward? It means to advance. It means to gain ground. It means to improve. It means to make a head away. The Bible tells us that is the direction in which God expects and has equipped us to move. The Bible says in Hebrews 13, 14, For here have we no continuing city, we seek another to come. Genesis 26, 13 talks about Isaac moving forward. Until according to verse 14, he became the enemy of the Philistines. In what direction are you moving? Proverbs 4, 18, it says the path of the righteous is like a shining light, shining more and more unto the perfect day. 
talking about David. In what action did he move? Forward. First Chronicles 11, 9. David was greater and greater for God was with him. Esther 9, 4. He said, Mordecai was greater and greater. Mordecai, according to Esther 2, 21, was at the king's gate. By the time you read Esther 9, 4 and 5, he had become great in the king's court, in the king's house. That is forward movement. That is God's plan for us. Psalm 84, verse 7. He said they go from strength to strength. Every one of them is iron as they appear before God. Romans 1, 17. Going from faith to faith. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. Going from glory to glory. That is what God's plans are for us. Progress. Increase. Advance. That is God's plan. Psalm 1, 1, 15, verse 14, I will increase you more and more, you and your children. Psalm 105, verse 24, he increases people more and more until they become stronger than their enemies. God wants you and I to go forward. Job said in Job 23, verse 8, he said, I go forward. The scripture we read in Exodus 14, 15, and the last said unto Moses, speak unto the children of Israel, that they go forward. Forward is the direction in which we are supposed to move. If I, had, if I had enough time, I will have shared with you where you need to go forward. But let me go on with this message. In what direction are you moving? As you are here this morning, I know there may be something wrong with the direction in which you are moving. Probably for some time, you have not been moving at all. That is why I'm speaking on God's recovery plan. There is a recovery plan for God's people, even if they have been stagnant for years. Your movement pattern may have been in circles, professionally speaking. Even if I've been moving in circles, there is a recovery plan by God for you because it takes interest in your welfare. What happened to you is a matter of concern to him. You may have even gone backward from a three-bedroom house to a two-bedroom house. Backward. 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 You may have gone backward. From being an employer, you become an employee again. Backward. Backward. It's possible. And people experience it. It's important for us to know that movement is important, but it has to be in the right direction. Because until movement is in the right direction, you won't get to where you set out to be. So are you stagnant? Are you moving in circles? Are you wandering? Or are you moving backward? Or are you moving forward? Now, let me say this to you. While it is one thing to be moving forward, listen carefully to what I'm about to say. It is another thing to be moving at the pace and the speed that is in line with God's plan. Moving forward is not enough. It is better than moving in circles. But you may not be moving at the speed that God planned. You may be behind time. You are moving forward, yes, but not at the speed. Probably the way God programmed you is to move at 100 kilometers per hour. You are moving at 40 kilometers. Something is still wrong with your movement. 